Hey YouTubers, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Now today's video, I'd like to discuss the leak that came out of VideoCards.com today. They have leaked the specs of AMD's RX 490X. Now for those of you that don't know, VideoCards.com was the first to leak RX 480 specs and the benchmarks, so their track record is pretty good. The RX 490X is going to be on the Big Vega chip, which is much more powerful than Polaris. Now according to the site, this is going to be released in the fourth quarter of 2006. It's Vega 10, obviously it's 14 nanometers. The cores are 4096, the base clock is 1200 megahertz. The compute power is 9.83 teraflops of performance. The memory size is a whopping 16 gigabytes of HBM2. The memory bus width is 4096. The memory bandwidth is also a whopping 716.8 gigabytes per second. Now, if the specs are accurate, this is much more powerful than Polaris. In fact, it's more than two times as powerful as Polaris. This GPU is for the PC enthusiasts, and the leak specs suggest that the RX 490X obliterates the recently released GTX 1080. Now, there have been a few rumors and leaks suggesting Xbox Scorpio will have 6 plus teraflops of performance. Another saying 10 teraflops. In my previous video, I touched on how the Scorpio could get to 10 teraflops with two RX 480s in Crossfire using DX12 and multi-GPU. Now the Xbox Scorpio could also use an RX 490X or a custom built version of it and we could arrive at the same 10 teraflops of performance. Now with the clock being traditionally lower in consoles, this number could be reduced to around 8 teraflops which is still a huge amount of compute performance. Now I'd like to know what you guys think. Do you think the Xbox Scorpio will have an RX 490X or an RX 480X? Please like this video and subscribe to the channel so I can continue to bring you guys videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.